right, so this is the output shaft adapter off the 4L60E that adapts to the transfer case, which would be on this side, this transmission side. And we need to uh, make a bearing housing for a thrust bearing and an output flange. That's stage one, cut it apart. Alright YouTube, we're getting closer to having the drive flange adapter made up for the Cummins boat. Bit more machining, make a cap. This is the uh, spline yoke. We gotta make a drive flange on that. Snappering groove in it. Um, I think I have to sleeve it, bring it up a quarter inch or something in diameter for the bearing and uh, bore this out for the bearing weld it in we will have a really short 4L60E so here we're going to try and uh, get a bead around this bushing that I made to the old part of the transmission transfer case adapter just heating it up with the map gas, preheat it for the aluminum. We're using 2% uh, seriated tungsten, 330 seconds. We'll get the welder up to 200 amps. We'll see how it goes. So I cleaned it up in the sandblaster, the old transfer case adapter part, and uh, Cleaned it off with brake clean. The, uh, the heat will, from the torch will bake any residual oil or anything out of it. Starting to get hot enough that she's smoking now. I mean, she's getting hot enough to weld. Not very uh, experienced at welding aluminum, so be surprised if this doesn't work out very well the first time. Turn the gas on. We will try that again. Okay, we're going to try it again.
So we've been uh, busy machining parts and welding parts. Not the greatest welds, but I'm a, I'm a grinder, not a welder. So now all that I have to do is make the splined adapter flange, a four inch drive flange to go to the boat. And this would go in here. Like that. Six bolts in there. And drive flange for the boat with four bolts in it. And that whole unit will be one. You'll be able to take. Just slide it right off the uh, splines there. It'll have a snap ring, foil seal in here, a lip seal. I'm going to take the seals out and wash the bearings. I ordered the wrong ones. And then we will see if it gets an oil line or not. Um, I think I'm going to have to run an oil line off the oil cooler return into that bearing probably come in the side drill it in the side 90 degree it just flood the bearing with uh, return oil she's coming along it's a maybe a pretty short 4l60e Could have got it a bit shorter, but that's the way it worked out.
that is how you do a bolt circle pattern. I'm just using an app on my phone. You punch in your bolt circle diameter, hole diameters, and amount of bolt holes. And it gives you your locations starting from zero, zero. Next I'll countersink them and I pull the cap off and tap them. Is the beginning of the 4L60 drive flange to attach to the boat prop shaft. Well, here we are. Test run of the 4L60E slip yoke eliminator drive flange. Oh, beautiful. It's going to drive the boat.